Hello everybody and welcome to my Monday forecast. So let's get started with looking at the Euro and the US dollar. Uh, what I'm seeing right here, I'm seeing a very range bound market. I'm seeing an ascending into a descending into another ascending and now creating another descending structure. So when I see this sort of price action, I know that I can just expect this larger range. And I know that I don't want to be looking for any trades because this this can just range and I am a trend trader so I'm looking for momentum and I'm looking for a trend uh, so there was actually an opportunity to enter right here so at this point there was this ascending structure a uh, small descending and then a nice push to a downside but to me this was not enough when I see a range mode market I want to see a two candle push I want to see two candles that break the lower the high and that show me momentum this was just one candle and then it finished well we got a wick right here and then retraced so i didn't have an order or, or anything to me this impulse just wasn't enough i want to see another candle what can happen now we can get the range right here so something like this and what I would search for in order to look for trades on this pair, I would like to see nice big impulse, then a flag, or a nice big impulse, pullback, another impulse, break and a retest. I would also like to see a nice clean ascending structure, and then a nice push, so a strong push, and then I would look for a flag or a break and a retest. And the same thing I would like to see to a downside, so a nice big impulse look for a flag or a nice break then or a nice impulse break and retest of the most recent low or this descending structure impulse to the upside look for a flag or a bullet trade which is just a break and a retest of the most recent high so yeah, that's it for the euro and us dollar and uh, let's take a look at ej for euro and the japanese yen so we had this nice impulse then we created a large wick and had a strong retrace to the upside so to me i was expecting either a range or i was expecting for the for the price to fully reverse to the upside we did get an, a range actually so there was a range here and then we came down and we broke the low retrace so to me this is signaling that we will just continue ranging in this area because we just broke the low and retraced we didn't show any momentum and i know that mondays and tuesdays are predominantly range bound so that is the most likely scenario but what i would like to see is i would like to see a nice big impulse and then a flag because we did just break the low and retrace so that means that all of the stops that have been here there was a stop area right here because there was a range above all the stops have now been taken out and maybe the market makers will push the price to the upside and maybe we get an opportunity to get in on a long trade also what can happen we can get more of this descending and then maybe a smaller descending i would then also look for a push to the upside look for a flag or maybe to get in on a break and a retest so on the most recent high also what can happen we can get an ascending from here and if it's a clean ascending, I would look for an impulse to the downside, look for a flag. Or we can get a push, pull back another push, look for a break and a retest trade. <clears throat> also, we can push to the downside, look for a flag. We can get a push, pull back another push, break and a retest. And on the euro pairs, what can happen, we can get a descending and then an impulse in the same direction. I would then also look for a flag because this can happen on the euro pairs where we have a descending or an ascending and then impulse in the same direction so yeah that's it for for euro and the japanese yen uh, currently not showing me any momentum or any conviction i want to see a nice big impulse either to the upside or to a downside now let's take a look at the aussie and the us dollar so i did actually place a trade when the market opened right here what i was seeing 
I was seeing this uh, large impulse, small pullback, another impulse, huge wick signaling to me a range, which we got. So we got this range. But then what happened after the range? We broke the low retraced, then the market opened and we broke the low retraced. So to me, this created a small descending structure right here. So right here, to me, this was a small descending. And I know that when I see a range, that there are liquidity areas below. So right here and above. So I know that the price can often reach the liquidity area, create a small descending and then retrace and uh, give a reversal bullet trade. So at this point, I then saw this large candle. I saw a clean close and to me, I really like this trade and I know that I would take it in backtesting because this to me is a high probability setup where we create a range, then there are liquidity areas above and below. We then go into the liquidity areas, create a descending, and then we get momentum in the opposite direction, signaling to us that the stops are being taken out and that the market makers are ready to push the price to the upside. So when I saw this clean close, I placed a pending order at the most recent high. So two pips above right here. And then what happened? So I got tagged in, price then paused a bit and I got tagged out for the full 1%. But as I said, this to me was a very good trade. It was high probability and I know that I would take it in backtesting. So I took it also in live conditions. And then what happened? So we broke the low and we are now getting some momentum. It is important to see that at the end of the impulse, we are getting a large wick. So to look for any trades right here, I would like to see a range. And then I would maybe look for a flag look for the first bearish candle to enter because of this large wick. But to me, this is trending to a downside. So this is good price action. We are getting some nice impulses, uh, a pause, then continuation, pause, and now we're getting a, another large impulse. So this is trending to a downside to me personally. And I, I would like to get in on a, on a short trade, but it all depends on what happens. If we get a V reversal right here, I would then look for a small range. I would not get in any short trades because then I would see a V reversal, which signals volatility. I would then look for a small range and a continuation of the second leg. That is definitely something that I would like to see. We can also stay ranging right here between the high and the low, something like this. Uh, if we do get a larger bomb, I know that I would stay out because I don't like larger bombs on the Aussie and US dollar. And uh, for the for the bullet setup, so if we do get an ascending structure, something like this, I would consider taking a bullet setup. But it all depends on what the price action looks like. To me, this is a really uh, large wick, so uh, a large warning sign. And uh, I really need to see what happens, as I said. I would, I would prefer to see a wide range right here and then a bomb opportunity. What I would also like to see, so if we get a push from here, then we get the break and a retest trade, that would be very high probability for me. Or if we get a large push, then a flag, because we are trending to a downside, I know that it is high probability that we will continue with this momentum to a downside. Also what can happen, so the trend can be exhausted, we can get a descending, then I would look for an impulse to the upside and look for a flag. And uh, yeah, those are some of the possibilities. As I said, we are trending down, I would like to get in on a short trade. Oh, also what can happen, so we can get a push from here. Nice large impulse, pullback, break and a retest, also very very high probability since we are seeing a trend and we're seeing a small pause and a continuation. So yeah, currently waiting to see what happens. Either we, we continue with this trend or we get the larger range between the low and the high or we reverse to the upside. And then I would look, as I said, after a reversal, I would look for a small range, push to the upside, look for a flag. So yeah, let's move on to the Aussie and the Japanese Yen. Right here what I'm seeing, so I was seeing this large impulse and then we got a huge wick 
broke the low retraced, signaling to us end end of the impulse. And at this point, so what I was seeing, I was seeing this small ascending into a small descending, so I was seeing a range. And I was seeing that there was a liquidity area below and above. So like this. And then what I really liked about this trade uh, is that we had a descending into the liquidity area. So same as the Aussie and US dollar. Price was exhausted right here and it couldn't move further down. And then we got this nice candle. We got some ni a nice impulse. So at this point I did have a pending order at the most recent high. But... I didn't get an opportunity to enter because then we broke the high and retraced. So to me, so this was actually uh, not a valid trade, but I did have a pending order because I liked the price action. We had the small range, small ascending into small descending. We then moved into the liquidity area, created a small descending, got momentum to the upside. So to me, this looked good, but I didn't get, a, get an opportunity to enter. Then we broke the high retrace, broke the low and got some momentum. So we are now seeing a continuation of this of this trend. So I would also classify this pair as trending to downside. And I am looking for a short trade. But what happened at the end of the impulse? So we got this large wick. I would like to see a nice wide range. Break of the, uh, the first, uh, first flag high or first bomb high. And then a retrace then I would look for, for a trade. What I would not like to see is an aggressive pullback. Then this cancels out any short opportunities. Because I know that on the Japanese pairs, if we get a large wick and an aggressive retrace, so let's say two, bull, two bullish candles in a row, then to me that just signals that it is high probability we will reverse, create this V reversal maybe get the range and then I will look for a continuation of the second leg and look for a flag to enter to the long side. So yeah, what I would really like to see is I would like to see this push to a downside and then look for a break and a retest opportunity because we are trending to a downside. Also, I would like to see a nice big push, then look for a flag or nice big push, pull back another push look for a break and a retest so bullet trade um, what can happen we can stay ranging between the high and the low since we know that mondays and tuesdays are predominantly range bound that is a possibility also what can happen we can create a descending from here then i will look for an impulse to the upside look for a flag because i then know that the move to the downside has been fully exhausted and the price is struggling to break the lows and it is highly likely to push to the upside. And if I get the evidence, I will look for a long trade. Um, so yeah, we can just create this larger range, as I said. Or we can get this ascending structure. And if it's a clean ascending structure, I would look for an impulse to the downside, look for a flag. So yeah, uh, I think I went over all of the possibilities. Uh, this is similar to the Aussie and the US dollar. Uh, we are trending to a downside, so I'm looking for short opportunities, but we need to see what happens. So yeah, that is it for the forecast and I will see you tomorrow.